Hey there, this is Atul from team K29 Academy and I'm here to invite you for approximately two hours absolutely free class that I'm planning to host on Cloud for Absolute Beginners. So, so let me tell you what we are going to cover and see if you resonate with that or if you need something more that you want me to cover. So we'll cover, we'll begin with Cloud Basics, Characteristics, Benefit, What Makes Cloud. We'll cover things like CapEx versus OpEx model. We'll look at the one of the most important thing that you need to understand and learn as a cloud beginner, which is um, service models, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. We'll also cover with examples what you'll be doing. We'll also look at shared responsibility model, which means who does what in cloud, whose responsibility is to do manage cloud, whether it's cloud provider or yours, and where the boundaries are. We'll also look at the second most important topic in for beginners, which is cloud deployment model, which is covering public, private, and hybrid. And then we'll compare with various cloud providers, AWS, Azure, Google, and I'll show you a um, few other things as well. So this is just to do, go a little bit deeper into what we're going to cover. As I said, we'll begin with first is traditional architecture. So if you're complete new to ID, what are the pro problems with traditional architecture, which is on-premise deployment that cloud tend to solve. We'll go a little bit deeper into what cloud computing means the, with examples and characteristic that made cloud computing. So we'll look at things like high availability, disaster recovery, fault tolerance, elasticity, and scalability. And these are the, some of the common properties you will be seeing. Also, we'll look at one of the common question people get is difference between elasticity versus scalability in cloud. Then we are going to look at the concept which is CapEx versus OpEx and why everyone is moving towards that OpEx model and what cloud benefits bring. And once you have done this part, we'll do some like um, quiz some or, or we'll evaluate and see whatever we have taught, whether you understood or not these, these topics. Then as I said, the first most important topic, which is infrastructure service, platform as a service and software as a service, including uh, the differences um, that you probably need to know. Now, when we explain this, the common question comes, what is middleware, what is runtime, and who, uh, so we'll be covering these two important topics as well, and who does what in cloud, depending on the service model. We'll also take an example of some services within with, that represents from an AWS what IS and PaaS examples are or similarly from Azure or Google or from Oracle, the examples from IS pass SaaS model so that you understand these. And once you know, you are going to do some quizzes in terms of, again, to see what you have learned, whether you are able to successfully uh, understand and able to answer those to clear your concepts about this service model. Once that's done, we'll, as I said earlier, we're going to look at these shared responsibility model, depending on uh, SaaS pass IS, who does what in each of these tasks and responsibilities that you see. Again, then we'll look at the quiz similarly. Once that's done, then we're going to look at the second most important topic that you should be knowing as a beginner on cloud, which is deployment model, public, private, and hybrid. And what these examples, each of these means. Also, what are the, uh, when we say private cloud from AWS or Azure or Google or Oracle with their examples, so you understand these. And then we'll cover it with some sample questions. Now, your actual journey begins with multi-cloud. So we'll cover things like what is exactly is multi-cloud means, um, who who is actually needing or which sectors are primarily customers from, for a multi-cloud, why they're looking for this multi-cloud, and are there any cons or drawback of using multi-cloud, and if yes, what are those? We'll also look at some of the common use cases, and then reference architecture will give you an idea about, and um, um, that is quite commonly used from a technical reference architecture, and a lot of our uh, advanced customers and individuals like you are actually implementing these later part on based on AWS Azure or active active or active passive deployments. And then what goes behind the scene technically to build that multi-cloud as well. Now, uh, the, the last and final part is going to be very, very interesting in terms of which cloud you should be picking. If you're a beginner, the common question to get is, oh, should I go and learn AWS, Azure, Google, Oracle? And answer depends on uh, the, some of the scenarios or your background and some of things you have done. So bring those questions. If you're like that, if you have that question, bring that question as well. So we can compare some of the cloud and also based on your situation because may not be 
AWS or Azure may not be always right, or maybe Oracle might be better, or Google might be better, depending on your situation. What is the right things? What I have done? And what I would do differently or what my suggestions are and that's definitely have changed in last four or five years so what we do uh, and we'll compare some of these cloud vendors as well so why you should listen to me and especially for those who are new I have more than two decades of IT experience and last 10 years or so aggressively on cloud and cloud native including DevOps cloud all the all the four clouds that you primarily primarily see these are some of the customers I'm based in London UK and these are some of the customers I've helped across globe in order to not only implement but build teams successfully who are implementing these cloud as well now if you're interested I just leave a comment on saying um, with basics type word basics um, so that I can I what what's going to happen is this slide that I've shared right now will be shared immediately and as soon as my class is ready or once I see enough interest on this we are going to send you an email invite so go to this URL ketonacademy.com forward slash which cloud oh okay so this is secondary but leave a comment on say um, basics and when you leave a comment on basics I'm going to send this whole slide and then you'll be invited onto the free class once the class I'm, uh, I'm ready with the time date and time of that so you'll get an invitation for that as well so type word basics um, and also if you want to go a little bit deeper and you want to go more once this is a beginner level then we're going to go on AWS Azure Google Oracle all these four clouds at different in future so if you're interested to know more about just go to, go to this URL kitonacademy.com for this which cloud enter name email address and select what all whatever all the cloud you want to select and based on that we'll have a second class after this cloud basics uh, so type word basics and I'll see you inside or like I will you'll get an invitation you'll get an email from my team as well shortly with all this slide deck as well as the class timings of this also apart from that if you have any other question you want to learn any other topic leave them under comment section as well so we can start working on those absolute this, those labs now the class is absolutely free but then free doesn't mean that either not good or what I want to make sure is that your time is um, used wisely and Two hours ago to spend with us every minute that you spend you will learn thing which you were not aware of earlier uh, so we always look for making best experience and we always aim towards getting a five star feedback on this and these are some of the guys who have attended classes like this in past and my promise is that if you register and if you come online you'll definitely learn and um, so that you you can also give us a five star feedback if you like and if you enjoy which my promise to you with that this is Atul and as I said leave a comment called basics on this um, and any other topic that you want to see uh, to get hold of these slides uh, as well and I'll see you in the class take care and bye for now